To introduce our Connections Award recipient, I'd like to invite Renee Donino to the stage. For the fourth year in a row, Renee Donino of the River 105.9 and iHeartMedia has interviewed our Polaris recipients and honorees and granted us incredible amounts of airtime and publicity across their platforms. And this year, we're broadcasting live from their beautiful studios. We are deeply grateful to Renee and to the radio station for once again being the Polaris presenting sponsor. Please welcome to the stage Renee Danino. I'm so thrilled to be here, and I'm so honored to be a part of this event. And now I've been a part of this event so long that I need readers. So <laughs> as we, we're growing together, so it's a true honor to be here. And in the presence of such amazing, inspiring people, I feel like I've done nothing today compared to all of you here. So uh, oh my goodness, let's continue. Uh, and, and of course, Roseda looking beautiful tonight. Uh, it is my honor again to be here at the Leadership Greater Hartford Polaris Awards, uh, representing the River 105.9 and all of our iHeart radio stations with iHeart communities. We love talking to the uh, honorees every year because I think in Connecticut, we don't get to meet all the people who really deserve to be met, and that's what the Polaris Awards do, and that's what Leadership Greater Hartford does. So uh, to continue on, Marcia Peck, always wanted to own her own business. Several years ago, she was thinking about this. She started planning the launch of a home health care agency. She was overwhelmed. She needed financing, uh, needed tech support. She needed help with dozens of details. Today, her business is Tender Care Home Health Care Services based in East Hartford. It's thriving. And she credits the University of Hartford's Entrepreneurial Women's Business Center. Now, this center arranged workshops, provided networking opportunities, and most of all, offered constant counseling to help her navigate the often perilous path to launching and sustaining a business. Now, thanks to the center, she found out about the Hartford Economic Development Corporation and was able to get critical funding. Now, thanks to a technology internship program at the university, she didn't have to pay a big firm to get the computers and support she needed. Most of all, she found at the center there were people there that really cared about her and her success. She says, without the center, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So many people start businesses and fail, but I had the center and even now their support continues. They care about me, my well-being, and my business. The Women's Business Center was founded in 1999 and in recent years it has helped scores of women of color, like Ms. Peck, find their business footing. The center's staff, Melena Irwin and Darshell Hutchins, that's D for dynamic, by the way, Elaine Thomas-Williams and Shelley McMillan, what a team, say starting a business is a risky venture, but it's even harder for women, especially women of color. And COVID has made it all the more precarious. In the summer of 2020, Darshell came up with the idea of creating a series specifically aimed at women entrepreneurs of color, one of the fastest growing segments of business, small business, I should say. The center formed a team to develop the Women of Color in Business series, and the first panel was launched that September. Since then, the center has held panel discussions quarterly, focusing on the struggles women of color have encountered, such as difficulty in gaining access to capital and the role of racial bias. The sessions also have offered strategies for overcoming these roadblocks. They've reached several hundred women, and the staff says the key has been featuring businesswomen and experts to whom the audience can relate. Says one center staff member, it's inspiring to hear how they've succeeded and it gives women confidence they can succeed. The center also provides an extensive array of workshops with small business owners in mind. From last October to June, the center offered 106 different classes with an attendance of over more than 1,800. Marcia Peck says the center helped make her dreams come true. Any questions I can't answer on my own, I have the center, she says. This is why tonight we honor the University of Hartford's Entrepreneurial and Women's Business Center for their steadfast efforts in helping nurture the business spirit in women of color. Leadership Greater Hartford is proud to present the center with the 2021 Connections Polaris Award. Would Milena and Elaine please come to the podium? Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much 
Renee, what a wonderful introduction. Your energy is just <laughs> infectious. Uh, Zoraida, um, Andre, thank you so much. Leadership Great at Hartford, what a great honor. Um, congratulations on all the amazing work that you do and congrats on your new female leader. Looking forward to many years of partnership. <sighs> Connections Award means so much to us. Of course, a recognition for all we do in support of our mission, but most of all, this opportunity to shine a spotlight on the women entrepreneurs like Marcia that we work with every day and that are there doing the hard work, making their dreams a reality for themselves, their families, their communities. All we do is really make the connections for them, right? We connect them to knowledge that they need. We connect them to the resources they need. And we really connect them to themselves, giving them that confidence, giving them that vision that they can make those dreams a reality. Uh, we have so many partners and so many connections to thank for. Of course, our hosts at the University of Hartford who provide the supportive uh, environment for our center. Uh, our many uh, programmatic funding partners like the Small Business Administration. But at the end of the day, it's about the power of a team. I'm so glad that there's four of us on this team award because we couldn't do it without each other. So I'd like to thank my colleagues, Darshell as the advocate and kind of the champion for this award, uh, Shelly who created the marketing magic around the program, and Elaine, my colleague Elaine who has is such an inspiration to the rest of the team and has been from before I joined the center. So um, thank you all, Elaine. Yeah. I'd like. <laughs> I'd like to thank the leadership, Greater Hartford, uh, and I'm really, really proud to be here today. I am a LGH alumni. Thank you very much. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, we defined success by uh, the panel, in particular, of the women and the panelists. They were great. They answered questions. They provided inspiration. Um, and uh, it was just an exciting time to see those women of color in business that were very successful and could inspire the audience that uh, were listening to. I, um, like they say at the Academy, would like to accept this award <laughs> for the team <laughs> and Darshell, who was the author of the series. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, congratulations to all, Malena, Elaine, and also to Darshell and Shelly, your fellow teammates watching at home. <laughs>